Hey Focus, it has been a while. Uh, we have a lot of exciting updates on columns, so I thought I should use a short video to show you what's new there. Let's take a quick look. Go to your workspace. Now by default we're showing your visual collections organized by project, or sometimes you call it a story collection. In each story, you can save multiple visuals. But by clicking that, you actually get the default view. For the first story, we're using a, you know, a, a US map. The second one is an animation of a Boris. The third one is a tree view. And you can easily to change the default version for how you want to show to users as a preview. There's something new in the creation process. So now, in the visual stories, we can quickly go to create a new one. There is something new. If you're using columns before, you will notice that. Now we can easily to switch to any data set you want. And sometimes you even can you know, create a new connection, new data set on the fly. Let's demo how to do that. Once you choose a data set, it loaded in the back end and give you the recommendations, so the jump to the Query tab. Let's switch back and see. Actually, here we have a new section, which is Query Recommendations. Based on your data, we're trying to be a little bit more intelligent, so you can just use one click to get some charts, some graphics we think you might be interested. For example, here we give you three different suggestions. But more interestingly, you may notice that we actually allow you to you know, using voice to generate some graphics, some analytics with us. Based on the data schema, you can just like organize your language, your sentence, just by speak it out. For example, in this case, we have state name and each value in for each state. So we can say total value for each state in the bar chart, maybe. Let's try it. Total value in each state in a bar chart. Let's give it a try. Boom, you can see all the result. It's reflecting what you are asking for. So let's take a look at the settings. Definitely, you can easily to update other things. For example, like here, we want to do four display all the states here. All right, there's a lot of chat settings you can just click and style. For example, I want to highlight this. I can show the value and also highlight choose a different background color. Now, of course, we put all the uh, design tools on the left side. This is a little bit different as before if you use columns before. So we, we uh, reorganized the you know, positions for the functions. Let's go back to the data. Um, assuming we want to save this, we can say, hey, one visual story. So it basically saves us version in this panel. Let's switch to another data set without going out. For example, the second data set. Similarly as a previous data set, it generates recommendations and also it's using by default using the first one. Um, I need money, looks better. Um, and, and similarly, we can use voice to do that as well. Total value in each category in a bar chart. Let's try it. See, we get exactly the query generated for you, like total value by some function organized by each category and in a bar chart. So in this way, we hope it will really help you and it saves the history here. So later when you generate a lot of queries, you can always just by one click to get into the one you just generated. You may notice also we bring you know the, the details of the table of the data set here. Like what is the source, what is the name, what is the descriptions for the data schema, you have the you know the column name, column type, and the annotations of that. So you can access all the information and also you can see the sample view, sample rows here. So it's very, very convenient to understand what the data you are analyzing. And you can have very quick tools to make your visualization so fast and easy. I hope you like it. Let me know how, what do you think. Thank you for watching this short video.